Thomas puffed along his branch line, he always looked forward to something special. The sight of the river. As he rumbled over the bridge, he would see people fishing. Thomas often wanted to often wanted to stay and watch. But his driver said, no, what would Sir Topham Hatt say if we were late? Every time, every time he met another engine, he would say, I want to fish. But they all had the same answer. Engines don't go fishing. Silly stick in the muds, thought Thomas. One day, one day, he stopped as usual to take in water at the station by the river. Out, out of order. Bother, said Thomas. I'm thirsty. Never mind. Never mind, said his driver. We'll get some water from the river. They found a bucket and some rope and went to the bridge. Then the driver let the bucket down to the water. The bucket was old and had five holes, so they had to fill it, pull it up, and empty it into Thomas's tank as quickly as they could, several times over. at last. That's good, that's good, puffed Thomas, and Annie and Clarabelle ran happily behind. <laughs> Suddenly, Thomas began to feel a pain in his boiler. Steam, steam began to hiss from his safety valve in an alarming way. There's too much steam, said his driver. Oh dear, groaned Thomas. I'm going to burst. I'm going to burst. They damped down his fire and struggled on. I've got such a pain. I've got such a pain, Thomas hissed. They stopped just outside the last station, uncoupled Annie and Clarabelle, Ran Thomas, who was still hissing fit to burst, on a siding right out of the way. Then, then while the conductor telephoned for an engine inspector, the driver found notices in large letters which he hung on Thomas in front and behind. Danger. Keep away. Soon the inspector and Sir Topham had arrived. Cheer up. Cheer up, Thomas, they said. We'll soon put you right. The driver told them what had happened. So the feed pipe is blocked, said the inspector. I'll just look in the tanks. He climbed up and peered in. Then he came down. Excuse me, sir. Please look in the tank and tell me what you see. Certainly, inspector replied Sir Topham Hatt. He clambered up, looked in, and nearly fell off in surprise. Inspector, he whispered, can you see fish? Gra Gracious goodness me, how did the fish get there, driver? We must have fished them from the river with our bucket, replied Thomas's driver. Well, Thomas, so you and your driver have been fishing. But fish don't suit you. We must get them out. They all took turns at fishing in Thomas's tank, while Sir Topham Hatt looked on and told them how to do it. When they had caught all the fish, they had a lovely, lovely picnic supper of fish and chips. Mmm, that was good, said, good, said Sir Topham Hatt. But fish don't suit you, Thomas, so you mustn't do it again. No, sir, I won't, said Thomas sadly. 
Engines don't go fishing. It's too uncomfortable. 